Hey everybody, I'm Steph, and um, today is like a special day, I guess, because I'm going to try and stream a Steam game. <laughs> oh hey, there's a big chat over my face. Let me move that to the side. <laughs> um, so I got this new Steam app called Dominion <laughs> and it has all the expansions and I wanted to show that off with a few games of Dominion. Um, and then I was going to probably play some games on Board Game Arena for anybody who wants to join in. And uh, yeah, so that will be a fun night. Oh, Meeple Grande right on my face. <laughs> Yay. Thank you guys for the raid. Hello. Hello. Um, yep, my rainbow booger is all the way across the room. <laughs> what up? Let me go get him. Can't not have him. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, thanks for following, Draylon. Thanks. Oh, hi for five bitties. <laughs> thanks for the bit. Every bit helps. Um, so today I was going to be doing some BGA games. I know you guys were just playing some board game arena games, uh, but I was going to start with Dominion, the Steam app that I believe is now available or will be really, really soon. I haven't actually, I don't know if it's actually available yet, but it should be really soon. Um, this game's an asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> She's stepping. That's not Michael. No, a small friend. A small friend. Good small friend. <laughs> so thank you guys for that raid. Um, trying something new. I asked to borrow Michael's monitor. So I actually have two screens going on, which um, I feel like a new person. <laughs> a new person. Because I can do things like stream. Like... Like this. <laughs> Huzzah! I put my face right over here uh, because that's what it looks It looks better if I'm playing Dominion. So um, right underneath here. Whoops, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Right underneath me, you'll see how to play and store. Not available yet. All right, so any day now. And what's cool is you can play online. You can play against other people. I see other people here. And you will be able to do multiplayer. This is one of my favorite games. <laughs> totally true. Uh, games of Fire. I love Dominion. And like, so there's a store where you can buy all the expansions not and you can't buy the promo cards yet and you could look at other games too world for the galaxy race for the galaxy shards of infinity hey that's a pretty cool game i just learned it the other day um and more can do stuff like that um i can add friends all this good stuff you play this often. That's awesome. I want to play this often. And so with this app, I now can. <laughs> so I figured I'd play several games of Dominion. And then we could play some games on Board Game Arena if anybody wants to. Because um, I don't really have another plan for tonight. I have a plan for a Sunday. I'm going to stream a few, a few different games, solo games, on the tables. But tonight I was going to make it digital with um, some digital games because I wanted to play this Dominion game to see if I could get it working. And then look, here we are. Things work. It's amazing. <laughs> I only had to, you know, futz around with it for, <laughs> for 15 minutes to try and make it work. That's not too bad, all things considered. Um, I'll have to add you on the app. Yeah, please do. I don't... I don't actually know if that's my name, if you just add Steph. I have no idea how to add friends. 
Oh, that's my code. Okay, cool. You can add me there with that code. Nice. Well, as soon as it's up and running, I'll make sure to tell everybody how to how to friend me on this thing. <laughs> All right. So the first thing I want to do is decide which expansions I want to play with. Does anybody have any preferences? I personally love Empires. That might be my favorite. I love Hinterlands. Those are my two favorites. I could just throw it all in, which is what Michael does. He just wants to see everything get played um, all at once. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I, have, I haven't even tried Menagerie yet. I really want to play that one. I have it on the shelf. I just haven't had the chance to try it. Um, Internet sucks out here. Michael is on the road, but he is in the chat. Um, I believe it. Seaside. Seaside. Oh, there's some good cards in there. All right, I'm going to try it with Empires and Seaside. And play against the AI, because that's how. And I guess you can customize it. You can put in specific cards that you want or certain colonies and stuff that you want. So that's pretty cool. I haven't really tried customizing anything yet. <laughs> Sometimes. All right, let's get to create this room. We'll play a few times. All right, so I got my landmarks. Oh my God, it's the wolf den. It's behind my head. Oh my goodness, you can't see me. Can't see, oh, they're so cute. I don't know where to put me. I guess right here might be okay. <laughs> I don't know where to put me. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> right in the middle of the screen. There's so much going on in the screen. Menagerie probably has small friends. That is true. But like you said, it's probably... Well, I can figure it out. Like anything, I can figure it out. So... Let's see. Play treasures. This is what I can buy. Now the problem is, I don't really know what anything does because it's been a minute since I played. So I think what you do is you right click on a card and it will bring it up and sh show you what it is. Gain a card costing up to $4. You may trash this if you do gain a card costing up to $4. Okay, so with um, Empires, this little symbol in the corner is debt. <laughs> you really don't want debt. So instead of paying for the card, you are paying in debt. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Lighthouse. Plus one action. Now and at the start of your next turn, plus a dollar. While you have this in play, when another player plays an attack card, it doesn't affect you. Okay. Are there any attacks out there? I'm not sure. <laughs> plus two cards, plus two actions. You may reveal a gold or plunder from your hand. If you do not set this aside and return it to the supply. Mm. So I don't know if you're familiar, but these two, this is like a stack of five and five cards, five cards and five cards, five encampment, five plunder. So you have to get through the encampment cards in order to get to the plunder cards, which are below it. Um, so when you gain action, move one from this pile. To, when, you, when you buy a curse, take the victory from this setup. Put two points on each of the non-gathering action supply pile. Okay, so that's what all those twos are worth. So I was just... I was curious as why are there points on these things? Okay, so that's because of the defiled shrine here. When you gain an action, move one of from its pile to this. When you buy a curse, you take the points from this. So maybe it will offset eventually. Um, if if not that you want to buy curses, obviously, but if you can get points from it instead, I had I had no idea there was a Dominion Stream app. Husband and I just played this at the table this afternoon. Excellent, weird did. Yeah, this is a um, a new app. This is a beta version that I have um, on Steam, and so I'm just showing it off a little bit because it's wicked cool. It's really really cool. Um, 
Pearl Diver. Plus one card, plus one action. Look at the bottom of your deck. You may put it on top. That's not too bad. All right, so with that being said, I think what I want... Hmm... I think I want a Lighthouse. Or do I want an encampment? Plus two cards, plus two actions. It might be early for that. So let's just go with the lighthouse. All right, then we see him play out. And he bought something. So Michael likes to know every little thing that happens. Um, I think you can hit... I don't know where it went. Where did the log go? I think you have to like go here, view the log to see what the other player do did on their turn. Um, I do wish there was a little bit of an easier way to find that, but I don't really look at the log, so I just hope for the best. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's probably fine. All right, what's this landmark? Okay, when scoring, minus three points per card you have exactly one copy of. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look how cute they are, I love them. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks, Trey. <laughs> All right, so that means I need at least one more lighthouse. Otherwise, I'm going to have, like, <laughs> one lighthouse, and we can't have that. So I played my treasures. There's five of them. Oh, man. Okay, so now what? What's this? Okay, catapult. Plus one coin. Trash a card from your hand. If it costs three or more, each other player gains a curse. If it's a treasure, each player discards down to three cards. Hmm... Enchantress. Until your next turn. The first time each other player plays an action card on their turn, they get plus one card, plus one action instead of the following its, its instructions. Well, that's not really great right now, but once he starts, once the AI starts having tons of actions, that could be really much better. At the start of your next turn, plus two cards. Okay, so this is an attack. That's annoying. Um... This is a better way to play than on the website. I've been waiting for them to release a new app. I played this on ISO app years ago when that was removed. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I used to play it on, um, what was it? Isotropic. Isotropic had an amazing, like, simple Dominion site that, you know, it was later taken down for the website uh, to come up. But I'm very excited for this because... It is very well done, and it's very beautiful, as you can see. Pirate ship may also be an attack. I think you're probably right. Yep, attack right there. I remember that from Seaside. Choose one, plus one coin. Uh, choose one, plus one coin per coin token on your pirate ship mat, or each other player reveals the top two cards of their deck. Uh, trash. Trash is one of those treasures that you choose and discards the rest. And then, oh yeah, that's like super mean. I remember that now. Oh, isn't the cup person attack too? Oh, it is. Each other player discards a copper, reveals a hand with no coppers. Oh, that's mean. And I have $5 to buy. You can see over on the side over here. Smugglers gain a copy of a card costing up to six. That player to your right gained on their last turn. Hmm. The, all these cards are super cheap. Sacrifice. Trash card from your hand. If it's an extra card, da, 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 da. Oh, I love the sacrifice card. Let's do that. That's fun. Got to kill those cards in my hand. All right, so they did something. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, look at this on the side. I got minus three. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Um... Okay, at the top it says it says he gained a silver. All right, so that's something. Maybe that's like the log at the top. <laughs> You've been banned from playing with those two cards, cut person, pirate chip. Oh man, weird. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, so I had three bucks. What do I want? Smugglers. Enchantress? How annoying. Don't need it yet. I should get a silver, though. I need more. I'm at minus six right now. This is terrible. Oh, don't want to call me. Decline. 
All right, sacrifice. All right, so remember, if I sacrifice victory cards, I get two points. If it's a treasure card, I get plus two dollars. Ooh, well, I don't need two. Well, I could get two dollars. So, sure. Uh, I sacrificed that card. It's in the graveyard, you see. <laughs> um... The lighthouse is looking better and better. The lighthouse is looking better and better. I have four dollars to buy and just one buy. So um, I should take another sacrifice or I could try this pirate ship. Let's do it. <laughs> Look, the minus nine points. I am so risky. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, right? It's fine. Let's play the lighthouse. So again, that's plus one action. At the start of my next turn, I get plus one. All right, pirate ship, choose one. Choose one plus one coin token on your pirate ship. How do I select it? Huh? Oh, over here, okay. Attack or plus zero. I'm gonna do a plus one. So now, is there a way to view my pirate mat? What's this? I don't know. Um, well, I think we'll, <laughs> it will tell us when, <laughs> maybe over here. Plays a lighthouse, gets that, plays a pirate ship. Well, I'm not quite sure. I assume it will show up next time I play a pirate ship. All right, should we buy more silver? $3, another lighthouse maybe, a catapult. Hmm. Kind of like the idea of a catapult. I don't remember what the rocks is. You can't really see it. Hmm. All right, let's go with that. Okay. Oh yeah, I got a dollar from this. Mmm. Play treasures. So that means five to buy. I really need something with more buys, but I don't think there is one with more buys. Hmm. I could buy a duchy. I'm I'm one of those fans that really like to buy duchies. <laughs> All right, let's sacrifice. I was so disappointed when we had to switch to the website. I don't like it. It's t it's taken a long time to make this happen, but finally, that's true. Remember to get multiples. I'm not worried about that. I will get multiples. I did get a multiple of sacrifice anyway. All right, trash card. Well, it looks like it's going to be that. Play treasures. Oh, yay, I can get a gold. All right, let's, let's do this. So, I don't really know. Plus one coin. Okay, so basically I have to attack, I think. I think I have to attack. And then I decide. All right, so now I think there will be a coin on there. Oh, okay, over here, there's a little boat. Got it. I understand now. Hey, thanks for following. AI 4 piu <laughs> Thanks for following. Okay, okay, la la la. Alright, I should get another pirate ship, right? What is that? Oh, my lighthouse, okay. Sacrifice an estate! That gains me some points. Okay, play treasures. 
I could buy another lighthouse. I kind of don't want to get into the, the different types, but I could. I could buy a silver. Hmm, catapult is always fun. Alright, silver. Lighthouse. Pirate ship. Attack! That killed its treasure. Treasure. Play. I got a duchy. So what card do I have one of? I think. Did I get a smuggler's? No. Got a purse. Oops. <laughs> I meant to right click that. I guess now I have a pearl diver. Okay, so I should probably get another pearl diver. Uh, ooh, that's seven dollars. I like that. Gold! I gotta play a sacrifice and kill a... Hmm. Pirate ship? I want, because I wanted to play. Sorry, huh. sure. <laughs> uh. Does that your gold count towards the wolf den? I assume every card. If I narrow down to one copper in hand, I assume I will get minus three points. So let's see. Yep, because my, my score went down on the side here. All right, play treasures. All right. I need to get another pirate ship. Because I killed one by mistake. <laughs> Alright, play treasures. Six. More gold. Alright, so the problem is I need more actions. Okay, the Pearl Diver gives me top deck or decline. Let's put a big ol' decline on that. We don't need that at the top of the deck. All right, pirate ship. Oh, I can get $2. Yep, yeah, that's what we do. Play treasures, because now I can really get that province, which is obviously the goal of this game. Get province. <laughs> get points. What are points? Psh. Oh, I can play one or the other. Do I kill a card? Probably. Can kill it for two dollars, which will give me six dollars, or I can attack. Pirate ship's kind of fun. Oh, the pirate ship would give me two dollars, so that is probably the no brainer. Play province. Play province. Psh. I'm gonna wreck this AI. Okay, sacrifice this dude. I needed to because I killed the other two estates. So, play treasures. What did I need again? What does my deck look like? Am I allowed to look at it? Um, hmm. Oh, I could buy a curse and get six points. That seems pretty good. Let's gain more lighthouses. Oh, do I have two pearls? I have 21 points over here, so I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, top deck. Let's put that at the top. Oh. Two. Play. Ah, one off. Okay. Um. Hello, Wigsby. Hello. I need a pro liar. Plus, you could take a curse if you need two to get it. Well, that's true. Is it worth it at that point to get the curse? You get seven points, so I'd be losing essentially four points for seven points 
It's not terrible. I thought I had two pearl divers. Well, there no, there's only there's nine right there. All right, let's go with the pearl diver. So I don't want to lose more points. Lighthouse. Okay. Um, play treasures. Ha ha. <laughs> All right, so he gained a gold. Okay, so I like that it tells you at the top what he's gained. It's a little cut off because I have a border, but. All right. Choose one. Obviously. Math. Math it out. Okay. Let's put that at decline. That can stay at the bottom of the deck. Pirate ship. Attack! I had enough to buy it anyway, so I attacked. Because I'm a mean person. <laughs> How's it going, Derek? Lighthouse. Pearl Diver. Decline. Sacrifice. Ooh, what do I want to sacrifice? What? I feel like I only have two sacrifice. So if I killed the sacrifice, that would be a bad idea. So let's get those, those, those two silva. And then what? I could gain that curse. <gasps> All right, let's do it. That was a lot of points. Has he bought anything at all? Like, I feel like he's not doing anything over there. Attack. Play treasures. Let's gain another. I shouldn't. I should. I went up by two because of that. <laughs> I bought the, bought the curse. <laughs> Maybe I can trash them using another thing. Feeling tired. Oh, okay. Maybe you should take a nap. Play treasures. All right, so the question is, do I take a duchy? Probably not, because it's basically a zero. Probably not. So let's just say this. Oh. The thing is, can I sacrifice a curse? Does it count? Let's just do that. I could get it. I could get an estate, but I would be losing two points because of it. So, eh. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Destroyed. <laughs> oh, what's tonight? What are you doing tonight? Are you playing Similo tonight? All right, that was a game. Totally kicked some butt. Let's play again. I don't know if I like Seaside. Hinterlands is the best. That's for sure. That's for sure. And the Empires. Those are the those are the two best. Those are my two favorite. You love Seaside. Oh really? Well, I just played with a bunch of Seaside cards, and I'm just I don't know. Maybe I'm just not feeling it. Maybe they were just mean. That's fine. It, it, there's definitely some good seaside cards. That's for sure. I, Alchemy is definitely not great. Um, you like the orange cards? Yeah, there are some good. There are some good orange cards. I was thinking of one of the orange cards in there. Um, I forget what it's called. It's been so long. <laughs> because seaside is not usually one that I play with. I usually always play with hinterlands and one other. Or now that. You know, I really love Empires. I play with Empires and, and one other. Um, I don't, I think I played Nocturne, but I don't remember the, the, the main mechanics in it. We can just, like, see what happens. <laughs> just, well, let's see what happens, everybody. I'm not going to play with Alchemy. Just going to see what happens. <laughs> just, just, just all of them. Just all of them. We'll see what happens. Uh, this is what you call crazy. Great. Oh, we got... Okay, so this is definitely part of Menagerie, the sheepdog. I don't know what most of these cards are, so I'm going to have to look at them. The Way of the Owl. Let's read this. Draw until you have six cards in hand. 
Oh my god, I don't know what it is. How do I get something on it? How do I how do I acquire that? <laughs> I guess we'll just have to see. I I don't know. I don't know how to get I don't know how to get my hand of six cards. Um they need an everything button. I agree. I was actually thinking that. <laughs> I look forward to trying Menagerie. It's so cute. I did read a little bit about it, but I don't really, I don't really know. Okay, this has a key on it. Things I don't know. Okay, plus three coins, choose one. Trash a treasure from your hand or gain a treasure from the trash to your hand or take the key. Wow. I want the key. I don't know what the key is, but I want it. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> Hello, Julie. Welcome, welcome. Devil's Workshop. Oh, man. He's not looking great. If the number of cards you've gained this turn is two or more. No, two plus. So three or more, I believe. Gain an imp. That's over here. One. Gain an imp. One. Gain a card costing up to four. Zero. Gain a gold. Oh, this is during the night. There's like a there's like a day phase and a night phase. Huh. That's kind of interesting. What is the imp? Plus two cards. You may play an action card from your hand that you don't have a copy of in play. This is not in the supply. Spirit. You would say two or more. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to see. Horse! Horse! There's like a ton of horse cards. I, I was leaving them. Um, plus two cards, plus one extra. Return this to its pile. This is not in the supply. Oh, it has a little, see, it has a menagerie print, horsey print. So this has the, the horsey print right there. A little. All right, event. Gain a horse and a card costing up to four, both onto your deck. That costs $5. You can do that once per turn. Okay. Sheepdog, plus two cards. When you gain this card, you may play this from your hand. Oh, so you, it's a reaction to buying. You don't need an action slot to play it. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's that lighthouse. <laughs> we just have the lighthouse. Uh, a horse is a horse, of course, of course. Caravan. Plus one card, plus one action at the start of your next turn, plus a card. Trading post. Trash two cards from your hand. If you did, gain a silver to your hand. Well, that's awesome. Plus one villager. Where's a villager? When something causes you to reveal this, using the word reveal, plus one coffers. Oh boy. I forget what a coffer is. Where's the villager? <laughs> I don't remember things. Okay, it's fine. We're gonna be fine. It's fine. No rainbow camel on that caravan. That's that is true. That will be specifically for the game caravan. <laughs> Plus two coin. Each other player discards down to three cards in their hand. Hmm. Well, I better get that lighthouse. Jack of all trades. We like this one because it's so flexible. Gain a silver, look at the top card of your deck, you may discard it. Draw until you have five cards in hand. You may trash a non-treasure card from your hand. Hmm. And then the overlord. Oh, but it's eight debt. We have nothing to like cure his debt. Play a non-command action card from the supply. Cost him five. Leaving it there. I don't know about that one. It's probably not what I want. Okay. Play treasures. Should I go with the devil's workshop? <laughs> All right. It's hard to argue with. Maybe the key unlocks the way. 
I'm thinking that. What do you think? Go to the lighthouse. It did us well. So it did us so well last time. I like the I like that. I want that at some point. But obviously, oh, but actually, I don't think I'm gonna be able to gain plus two because nothing has a plus buy, right? Unless I gain it by other means, like jack of all trades. Oh boy, I can get sneaky about it. Coffers. That one still confuses me. Go with caravan. Three. Sheep, dog, and do No, silver. Silver. Explain debt. <laughs> the problem is I don't really remember because it is, it is empires. And there's usually cards that help you cure your debt when you play with empires. But I could just be mis, mis remember. You could take as much debt as you want, but it's all going to be negative, like negative value. Unless there's a way to pay it off with your with your coins, I think you can do that. If I had like eight coins in my hand, I could pay off the the debt. I think that's how you do it. Um, now that I'm saying it, it makes sense. <laughs> so, hello, Doctor Sign. How are you, Caravan? Looks like an owl. Not the caravan. <laughs> Look at this. All right, that's probably that's probably a glitch. <laughs> that's cause that, wait a minute, because that's not correct. I should probably tell somebody. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, a whole bunch of monies. I could buy gold. I should buy gold. You do have six cards. Oh, well, because I played the caravan, right? So the caravan draws a card. Three, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe I do have six cards. I could do this. Gain a horse and a card cost of four and put them on my deck. I like that. But it's my. I can get a gold, though. That's the problem. I have seven dollars. I'm so close. Play, lighthouse. See, because I only have five cards. I think that's probably what the key is. It's got to be. It's got to be what the key is. I should buy the treasure and find out. She dug. He's so cute. <laughs> the owl. <laughs> See, now, okay, so now, I think I broke, I like, there's like a glitch if it's the way of the owl. Or maybe the way it works is if I play a duration card, then I can draw, then I use the way. I really don't know the rules of the way cards, so I'm guessing that's probably what it is. Um, something like that. If I get the event, I have seven to buy again. Are you kidding me? Trading post. Trash two cards from your hand. If you did, gain a silver into your hand. Yeah, I think we gotta go with that. I was supposed to get the treasure. Oh. Okay, so look at it. It's high lit in green, and that's high lit in green. So I think if I play this card, it's going to activate. Maybe not. I don't know. I have no idea. Things I don't know. Again, seven to buy. Let's try this treasure. Lighthouse. Cheap dog. Five to buy. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's try this. Demand. I get one of these. Sure. Let's try the Devil's Workshop. Hey, Timon. Instead of doing what's printed on the action card, you may do what is printed on the way being used in the game. Ways are not kingdom cards and cannot be bought, including one or more ways in the game does not count towards the 10 kingdom card piles and supply uh, includes. Uh, in fact, ways are not considered cards at all. Hmm. Okay, so... You, you could play, I can use the way instead of using the lighthouse, perhaps. So, well, let's do that. And then I can either do this or do... Okay, I gained that. So I gained that, so the Devil's Workshop should go into effect. But I could make it for sure by doing Demand. And Jack of All Trades. Then I could do that. So it got me something. What did it get me? I got an Imp. Gain a card cost him to four, gain a gold. So if I get no cards in the turn, the Devil's Workshop will gain me a gold. Wow, that's pretty good. Reveal pile. Discard or decline. Let's well, decline. That's pretty good one to have on top. Oh. Trash a non-treasure or decline. Sure. Play treasures. To name a card does not apply to ways. However, for reference ways, effects are printed on the card in the landscape warranted. I have four to buy. Let's get another Devil's Workshop. Because the imp, I have an imp. Okay, trash a treasure, gain trash treasure, take key. What does the key do? Take key. I have the key! <laughs> what does that mean? I have the key! <laughs> okay. Play treasures. I want this. Sheepdog, play this. Way of the Owl. <laughs> I just drew a six-handed card. Oh my goodness. Okay. Devil's Workshop. I gain a card cost named to four. That was like a double turn, sort of. I could go for the militia. Sure. Just came back from Burger King and had a two dollar double whopper. Mm. The key is an artifact from Renaissance. It gives plus one dollar each turn, which is like a treasury that you can always top deck. There is one copy of it and players may choose to take it from each other when playing a treasurer. Well then, that's why I have a dollar. Lighthouse. Play treasures. Hey, I can finally buy a province. 
Uh, oh, they gained a province too? It's crazy. Oh. All right, I gotta do the jack of all trades. Discard. Trash a non-treasure or decline. Decline. Play treasures. Province. Devil's Workshop. Hmm. Oh, the imp. Sure. Uh, trash a treasure. Jack of all trades. Oh, I don't have more actions. Okay. Play treasures. Province. I don't know if you can change the difficulty of the AI. Um, mm, trading post. Well, play treasures. More sheepdog. Six, seven, gain a silver. Psh. Alright, gain a gold, gain a silver, imp, sheep dog, that's like more than enough. Lighthouse, play treasures. Imp. Trading post. Okay. Play treasures. Okay. I think I got this. <laughs> Because this one gains a silver. Bill pile, discard, decline. Trash a non treasure or decline. Don't need that anymore. Play five to buy dot G. Hmm. Jack of all trades. Sheep dog. Missing prompt six. Discard. Decline. Play treasures. Boop. I got him. I got him. Got him. <laughs> the AI seems pretty easy. I haven't lost yet. 
I know Michael tied, so. <laughs> I don't know if you can make him harder. More. Customize. Um, have I seen it not do all money? Um, I don't really know. Could try it again with a different set of cards. Yeah, I tried clicking on AI. Right click, left click. How to play store stats. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> at least at this point, I don't think there's a way to um, alter the AI. I'm guessing there will be. Um, perhaps not yet, though. Oh, I love Cornucopia and Hinterlands. Let's try this. Do you guys like these ones? Let's see if we can enter. Hmm... Enter my favorite ones. <laughs> thought it was. Thought it was. I do like the border village. You can't see what it is. <laughs> Where is Michael? He's on the road. Okay. I wonder if it will have tunnel if I just leave it there. <laughs> I wonder these things. Great. Oh, it's there. They gained a silver. What's the oracle? Each player, including, reveals the top two cards of their deck and discards them or puts them back. Oh, yeah! That's so good with the tunnel! In case you don't know what the tunnel is. When you discard this, other than during cleanup, you may reveal it to gain a gold. Oh, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't say no. It's my favorite. Tunnel is, like, my favorite card. So good. Farming Village. Reveal cards from your deck until you reveal a treasure card and act. Put the that card in your hand. Discard the rest. Yeah! Hello! It's so good. More tunnels! <laughs> More tunnels! <laughs> Bye, Karen. Okay. Play treasures. More tunnels. Play treasures. More tunnels. Farming village. Play treasures. More tunnels. <laughs> uh, 
See? Oh, he bought cards. He bought cards that aren't the tunnels. I mean, that aren't gold and silvers. Play treasures, gain tunnels. Ugh. Man, I'm so unlucky. Okay. I want more coppers and buys. Too many tunnels. <laughs> Where's my farming villages? They're not paying off. It's going to keep buying green cards. What's that card? What's the card? I thought it was Borderland, but it's clearly not. Hey! Gain gold. There are my golds. I've been waiting for those. Like, it's been, like, not hitting is what it's not doing. Alright. More farming villages. More tunnels. <laughs> uh, all right. All. I gained three gold. <laughs> this is my favorite. Guys, this is my favorite. And buys. I'm going to lose because it's not paying off at all. <sighs> Play treasures. Oh, what's this? Oh, highway is so good. Hmm. I need more farming villages. <laughs> uh, all right. Hmm. Gain a silver per coin at costs. Nah, mer, mer, mer. Nomad camp. Plus one buy, plus two dollars. This is gained onto your deck instead of your discard pile. Hmm. God, the highway is just so good. I need another dollar. Okay, don't be like me. I thought I needed oracles. Oracles, but farming village is better. Okay, I can also get oracles. I will. After I get more highways. The game's gonna be over and it's gonna be too late. It's too late. It's too late. Too late. <laughs> AI is crushing my soul. <laughs> All right. Maybe this isn't the best strategy. I already know I can't win. Uh, it was still fun to try. <laughs> Three piles are gone. No. <laughs> Don't be like me. Don't love the tunnel as much as I love the tunnel. This is what happens when you love cards. 
this right here. Don't do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's pretty funny though. <laughs> anyway, as soon as people start having um, access to, the, to this, then I guess we should start playing some games on here. I don't think I know any of these people. These are all complete games. Mark, 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 mark. The Minio. I got no online games going on. Have you seen the Cooting House? I don't know what that is, so I will say no. <laughs> <laughs> the counting house. <laughs> Is that a card? I wish I could see what it is. <laughs> Doesn't tell me what it does. So I probably have seen it. Um, because I have played a bunch of Prosperity. But right now it doesn't let me like read the card. You think they would do that? Basically you can use all the copper in your graveyard for a single purchase. Oh. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds familiar. Um, the, the... A card I have always enjoyed is the King's Court. I forget what expansion that was in. Is that Intrigue? Is that base game? I don't even remember. <laughs> I broke my friend when I used it for when I used 48 copper. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I guess that's something I would enjoy from the expansion from this mod from this Steam game is like, maybe a list of cards and what they are. Um, but I know that that's going to be, like, a ton of work. Um, but, like, if you could click, like, right-click on base or something and have a little list come up with all the cards and, you like, you can manually select. Because I, I honestly don't remember all the card names very well. King's Court is Prosperity. That was going to... That was my guess was Prosperity because... I think it goes with the, 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 what are they, colonies? The, the, the 10 point victory cards? The heck are those called again? I think it goes with that because you can like chain everything and get really big values for money and you can buy the really big victory point cards. I don't know. I really like what they're doing here. We could just create this. All right, we know. Okay, what's the way of the seal? This turn, when you gain a card, you may put it on top of your deck. You may trash a non-victory card from your hand to gain a card cost you up to two more than it. Okay. The horse is still here. Black cat is my friend. Small friend, happy. Two cards. If it isn't your turn. Oh, it's a reaction. If it isn't your turn, each other player gains a curse. Oh. When other player gains a victory card, you may play it from your hand. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Ooh, I like multi-use cards like this. Either now or at the start of your next turn, plus one card, plus two actions. Okay. When you discard this other than during cleanup, you may reveal it to play it. Okay. Supplies. One coin. When you play this, gain a horse onto your deck. Remember the horse, two cards, 
plus one action, but you always have to return the horse to its pile. That's kind of nice. Small friend. <laughs> you need horses probably for the paddock. Plus two dollars. Gain two horses. Plus one action per empty supply pile. Well, I feel like there aren't going to be that many empty supply piles. I feel like that. <laughs> Cardinal. Plus one coin. Each other player reveals the top two cards of their deck. Exiles one. Costing from three to six and discards. The rest. So is exile the same as trash? Did they change that name? Like, why would they change that? What is exile? Oh. It's removed from the game. Okay. I mean, I thought when you trash a card, that's also removed from the game. In every other Dominion that I've played that you trash a card, it goes, like, off the table to the side, mixed with all the other trash cards, and is essentially out of the game. But I suppose there are, for purposes of other cards in this game, I guess if you have a trash pile, you should keep it separate from those of the other player's trash pile? So it's not the same. Trash card. <laughs> I removed from the game as well, so it's not the same. Trash is removed to the communal area completely from the game. I mean, that's what I thought. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see what happens. Um, okay, Falconer. I don't want to talk about it, Scott. Just flip the table and call it a draw. Yeah, call it a draw. Gain a card to your hand, costing less than five. When any player gains a card with two or more types, you may play this from your hand. I think a lot of these do. This does. No. Yes. Yes. Yes, no, yes, yes, no. Plus one action, you may trash a card from your hand, plus one card per card, the player to your right trashed on their last turn. I don't know about this card. I'm not feeling it. And again, the event, you may trash a non-victory card from your hand to gain a card costing up to two more than it. Supplies kind of like it. So if I do bing, bong, bing, enhance, trash the copper, get the black cat. Sheepdog. I got reaction cards. So this is when another player gains a victory card. I may play this from my hand. Play this. Missing prompt six. What does a cat do again? Oh, I could use the way of the seal, which is plus one coin. Uh, this turn, when you gain a card, you may put it on your deck. No, let's just decline that and gain two cards. Okay. Sheepdog. Play treasures. Are the dog and cat friends? Yes. They're both looking the same way. So if you had a garden, you could still count any exile cards. Oh, I don't know the garden card. I, once upon a time, I probably knew the garden card, but at this point, I really don't. It's a personal pile, unused during the game, but allowing you to keep a card 
your card count high for things such as garden. The garden counts as one point for 10 cards in your deck. I don't think if it's exiled, I wouldn't say you can count it. <laughs> but I don't know. Hey, thanks for following the channel. Release the budgies. <laughs> rules you can that's what the exile mat is for scroll further up oh i see okay ah weird and explains it first science <laughs> from the the googles exile is a place to put cards that was introduced in menagerie if there are any cards in the kingdom that use exile give an exile mat to each player when you use an exile card, you put it on your exile mat. Exiling a card is not gaining it or trashing it. Gotcha. I see. I see. <laughs> Man, they introduced a bunch of things in Menagerie, which, you know, that's cool. I mean, there's a lot of different things that are, that are new in Menagerie, which is the most recent expansion. Um... So, uh, that's interesting. Because didn't they say they were going to stop making Dominion expansions, like, three expansions ago? But I'm still okay with it. Especially when, like, there's cute animals involved. <laughs> Obviously. Alright, so I was going to do the Village Green again. Either now or at the start of your next turn. Plus one card and two actions. Probably need more action cards. When you gain this, you may discard any number of treasures revealed to gain that many horses. Well, it's a little late for that. I just gotta think about that before I do it. Plus one, each other. Ah, see, I don't know. I, I, the cardinal is weird. The cardinal is weird. Let's just go with this. Receive now, receive later. Receive later because I don't need it now. Play this, I gain a silver. Cha-ching. Cha-ching, cha-ching. I don't really, I don't have that sound. <laughs> We're going to stop making more stuff. Our response, shut up and take my money. Exactly. <laughs> oh, black cat. Draws me two cards. Decline. Okay, sheep dog. I don't know what I just said. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't see cards that I drew, but I guess I did draw cards. Well, I have seven to buy, so that probably means a gold. What else do you do with seven? <laughs> you buy gold is what you do. Or if you, or you buy the king's court, which I think is also seven. All right, five, play treasures. Do we want to get into the horse business? But we're not going to get into... I'm not going to get any extra actions. Because the supply is never going to be empty. Oh, I love Falconer. Okay. Gain a card to your hand costing less than this. Any player gains a card with two or more types. It could be good... Unless the AI is going for all money cards. Gains of silver. Gains of state. Gains of silver. So basically, not great. Not great. 
So. Sure. If you buy them all like the tunnels, then I lose. Receive later. Play treasures. Let's go with horses. Let's go for horses. Oh, play the black cat. Decline. Ooh. So, the village, I get a card in two actions. Let's just receive it now. Sheepdog. Paddock. Did I gain enough? Play treasures! Woohoo! Province! That's right! Alright, play treasures. Not liking this. I'm supposed to do that before. I'm supposed to look at the. before. So. I guess my biggest question about the exile is if I exile a province, does it still count towards six points for me at the end of the game or not? That's the question. Try it and find out. <laughs> Try it and find out. I like it. I like it. Okay. Let's do this. Receive now. Horse. Village green. Receive now. Horse. Paddock. More horses. Play treasures. For the Oh, they gained a duchy. Okay, horse. Village green. Receive later. One. Oh, if I buy that, then I can get the dog. But, nah. That was terrible. That was really bad. Don't, don't be like me. Hey, Scott. Right. Village green, receive now. Black cat. Horse. Play treasures. Psh. I got this. Got all the all the golds. Everything I ever need. Psh. Slap a lick. <laughs> kitty. Kitty, yes, it's a black cat kitty. Receive later. Play treasures. More cats. Play sheepdog. Oh, what's the way to steal? Plus one. I don't need plus one, so just decline. Those all just go away, I guess. Village. Receive later. Black cat. Play treasures. Oh, I was going to get the cardinal. Well, I can't do that. <laughs> can't do that. Since it's not defined as gaining it or trashing it, I believe that scorecards on the exile mat would still count, just as they still count for scoring on the garden card. But I'm not 100% on that. That's what I would also think. Horse. Horse. Paddock. Black cat. Play treasures. Play treasures. What's this? Oh, yeah. Not great. More cats? Sure. 
Sure. Receive now. Play treasures. Six to buy. All right, let's try the cardinal. See what happens. Play treasures. More cardinals. <laughs> uh, play this. Decline. Oh man, I got terrible cards. I still have three to buy. Enhance. This one. Mm, cardinal. Okay. I believe you. Horse. Filled green. Receive. Later. Oh, I should have received it now. Nuts. Mistakes were made. Mm. Village green. Gets me a duchy. All right, Cardinal. Oh, the other people have to do it. So that's just me being annoying, maybe? I don't know. Oh, hey, that's enough. So the cardinal affects other people's exile. Duchy. Okay. Paddock. Get all these horses. No empty supply files. So I get no further actions. Now there's an empty supply pile. What the heck? He gained a copper? That seems weird and inefficient. <laughs> oh my god, all the green. Don't be like me. <laughs> My problem is I like green cards too much. I like the victory points. I can't help myself. Receive later. Play treasures. It's terrible. It's terrible. I don't want it at all. I don't want anything. Cardinal. Well, that's enough. One more province available. Horse. This is not good enough. Woo! <laughs> yes. I showed him. When tunnels are involved, all things are great, right? <laughs> anyway, that was a bunch of games. That was a bunch of Dominion. I could keep playing, or we could play on Board Game Arena if anybody wants to play anything. Um... <laughs> Did you like the Dominion Steam app? <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I think um, it's really cool. It has all the expansions and it's really easy and I'm sure once you know all the cards better than I do, you'll just fly through it. It actually looked really good. Yeah, it is really good. You've wish, you've wish listed it. Nice. 
Yes, yes. Looks promising. I agree. Um, I'm glad I could show it off a little bit. Uh, I think it's a really cool, really cool app. Um, obviously, I love Dominion. I've played the heck out of it. I've, I've played it a lot, and I've always loved it. Um, so it's really exciting that there is this amazing app to now play. You can play online with other people. Or it's not available yet. But it's really soon. It's coming really soon. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to do a quick cut. And I'll be right back. Do, 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 do.